With the Clarabelle Smith Center, it's a center specifically for student athletes throughout the entire year um, for them to receive academic help. They have um, computer labs, uh, study rooms, and um, tutors and mentors that help um, all the athletes do their schoolwork. The Smith Center has been great um, my whole time here. It gives us extra time to like work on our like study study our on our extra time and um, very helpful with the tutors also. Tutorials open to any student athlete. Um, doesn't matter if you're a freshman, senior, 2.0, 4.0, walk on, whatever. If you're on a roster and you need a tutor, um, it's provided for you. I go there um, almost every day of the week for tutors or just to get my schoolwork done. Obviously, freshmen usually have a little bit more just because they're new, new to the university and helping them get um, acclimated. When we travel, it's, it's, um, it's a little hectic because we can't keep up with our work and you know we need um, a little extra time with our, in our studies and stuff. So um, the Smith Center has been like a plus for us, especially I know for our team and especially for me. It gives them a level playing field to get back to where if they weren't having to spend all this time, you know, because it's not only just practice, but it's travel and you know, seeing doctors and rehab and whatever they need to do. So we, ha we provide all of these opportunities and at a time when the student athletes can, can access them. And Personally, I've had some meltdowns where I stressed out over school work, so like having that one place where you know you can go and get your work done um, is really helpful. My favorite movie would have to be selection, so I go with Avatar, um, Mean Girls, Love and Basketball, and Bridesmaids, just to name a few. Favorite color is orange. My role model would have to be um, my mom, just because, you know, I've seen her growing up and, um, you know, getting through struggles and raising me as a single parent. Favorite thing to do away from basketball, you know, which is one of my hobbies, is probably draw or, you know, just hang out. I started playing basketball in fifth grade. Um, nicknames will have to be JT, TJ, Jazzy, Jazz, you know, nothing too fancy. My favorite food is pizza rolls. Favorite athlete is Derrick Rose. Favorite color is green. My role model is my mom. I started playing basketball about fourth grade. I taught myself. Growing up, it was like in elementary school you couldn't play on the boys team, so I like went to the principal and like asked, and they just slapped me. So just started. My major is criminal justice, and I want I want to be a detective after basketball. So my major is psychology. I mean, if not make it to the next level, uh, I would like to pursue a career in either occupational therapy or um, some type of psych psychology field. I'm not sure yet. To be a Spartan just means privilege and honor and great responsibility and just, you know, being a part of a great family and a good atmosphere. You gotta have pride to do this. You gotta be in it no matter what. My favorite part besides game time is just um, probably pre-game meal. You know, get a nice meal in before the game. My favorite part is pre-game meal. <laughs> well, after pre-game, I go home and watch SpongeBob every game, so I have to do that. I usually, you know, take a nap in between the time from pre-game meal and um, game time. But other than that, it's just listening to music, relaxing, easing my mind. And three words to describe myself would be a jokester, um, fun, you know, to be around, and um, sincere. Funny, quiet, and interesting. On a typical road game day, first we start with practice. We'll go from practice from two to five. After practice, we'll go upstairs, have a meal. So we usually, half of us will go down and shower to get ready, and the other half will go eat, and then we'll switch. So we'll end up either eating like Qdoba or Panera or something like that, which we had pre-ordered, so it'll be ready for us. But after that, we'll get on the bus, which will take us to the airport. Once we get there, we usually pull up right to the plane. They load our bags on there. Everyone loads up on the plane. Um, we take off. Uh, and once we get to our destination, we go to the hotel. Our bed checks at 10 o'clock, so we'll have to be in our rooms by 10. At the next day, we'll have shoot around. But for the Texas game, we didn't have a shoot around because it was so early and we got in late. 
So instead of the shoot around, we had a walkthrough at the hotel. The purpose of the walkthrough is to make sure our minds are on the game when we wake up and to go through all of their plays so we're not surprised when we go out there in the game. We we'll usually go over the plays they run the most and the ones that work out for the opposing team the best. After that was done, we went to breakfast at 10 down in the um, lobby of the hotel's restaurant. And after pregame meal, we just relax and get our minds right for the game and get ready. So after that, we drove to the game. We got there about 12.30, so we waited till we were allowed on the floor. At around, I think it was 12.45 or so, we all got on the floor and started to shoot before the game. It's different when you're on the road preparing for a game because the crowd isn't going to be with you. So you have to bring your own energy. You have to bring your own intensity and just be ready. Um, you, we come in at eight minutes for warm up and we go over a brief of our game plan. So she'll give us the three keys to the game that she has and then a little pep talk to get us ready to go. We run out, we'll stop right before we run out into the court. Usually me, Kendra or Taylor um, will say something to the team about how important the game is or what's the um, plan for the game for ourselves as a team. This is a must win Kendra. We do not win no matter what. Then we line up from shortest to tallest and we run out. Yeah.